This is a lesson on uh, chapter 6, first lesson in the probability unit about the fundamental counting principle. You may remember that probability is uh, a comparison of the number of ways you want something to happen to the total number of ways it could happen. For example, the probability of getting heads when you toss a coin is 1 out of 2 because you can get heads one way, but there are, you could get heads or tails. There's two possible outcomes. We really won't get into probability until lesson 4 of this chapter. Uh, today we're talking about the fundamental counting principle, and next is a topic called permutations and then combinations. And those are important orders because the fundamental counting principle is extremely important to understanding both permutations and combinations. And those are ways of counting the total possible uh, outcomes of a situation. Uh, if the situation is a little more complicated than just heads and tails, perhaps. So you have to know the fundamental accounting principle and you have to know how to count combinations and permutations before we can do some of the fun problems that we'll do with uh, probability. But the fundamental accounting principle is a, makes a really quick way to calculate how many ways something can happen if uh, there are separate categories that are going to be put together, like you're trying to figure out how many different ways could you come dress to school if you had five, five tops, um, ten bottoms, and eight pairs of shoes. And there's a, a, lots of ways you can put that outfit together. Uh, the fundamental counting principle allows you to do a quick multiplication problem to come up with um, the total number of possible outcomes. So uh, the fundamental counting principle says if there's two or more things or categories of things, they call events, it could be five of them or ten of them, but there has to be, if there's only one category, then you don't use the fundamental counting principle. So there's got to be two or more. The total number of possible outcomes is the product of the number of ways each event can occur. This is a little bit wordy and maybe a bit difficult to understand, but it's really simple, so probably best talk through some examples. Um, then I'll also mention that a sample space is a table or a list of all possible outcomes. Um, you can't make sample spaces for more complicated problems. It's in the, in the, the one that I, the example I gave you, and I can't remember the numbers, it might have been five, like five, eight, and ten. That's actually going to be 400 different outcomes if it was 5, 8, and 10. And you don't want to have to make a list of all those possible outcomes. But let's suppose you're um, looking forward to a fine supper, and you know that uh, the cook at your house typically makes a uh, menu choosing from which to make up some stuff. Meatloaf could be the main dish, the entree, or maybe it's spaghetti, or maybe pizza. Sorry, that doesn't look right. Pizza, or maybe fried chicken, or maybe filet mignon. No, I'm not sure how you spell that. We have it so rarely at my house. I think that might be it. That doesn't look right. But we're just going to go with that. So there's five different um, main things that you could have for your, for your supper. And let's make it simple. Peas, limas, or corn. So there's three. And then you could have a baked potato, uh, mashed potatoes, rice, um, holiday potatoes. Maybe let's just stop on that one. And there's four different kinds of potatoes, but you're only going to take, take one thing from each list. There'll be one main entree, one of three vegetables, one of four kinds of potatoes or rice. So it may be, it might be meatloaf, limes, and rice, or it might be meatloaf, peas, and rice, or meatloaf, baked potato, meatloaf, uh, corn, and baked potato. Um, it would actually take a, quite a while to mention all the things that you can come up with here because it's going to be, according to the fundamental counting principle, there are two or more events. That an event would be, in this case, picking a, a main an entree, that's an event. The kind of vegetable you have is another event, so there's at least two, and then the kind of uh, potato that you have, um, or starch, is another event. So there's three events here, five ways to the first event, so that's going to be five. And then three ways the second one can be chosen, three things in the second list, and then four. So there's 15 times four, or 60 possible outcomes. And if I listed all of them and made a sample space, that list would have 60 different, um, 60 different kind of, I don't want to use the word combinations, because six, six different outcomes is what I should say. So let me pare this list down a little bit. 
I'm just going with um, chicken and pizza. I'm going to get it down to two things here. So it would be two times two times two, which would be eight. Peas and limas. It won't be hard to make. I'm going to say potatoes and rice. It won't be hard to make a list of what those are. In fact, there's an organized way to go about this called a tree diagram, which you will need to be an expert at making tree diagrams, because it's a way to make a sample space. Uh, it looks a little bit like a factor tree, but it's kind of turned, rotated 90 degrees. So you start with, in the first category, there's two choices, either chicken or pizza. And I'm afraid I'm going to run out of space if I organize it this way. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of this off of here. In fact, I'm going to use this whole thing and put my tree diagram on top. So I can go with chicken or pizza. If I take chicken, I can take peas or limas. And if I take chicken and peas, I can have chicken, peas, and potatoes. Or chicken, limas, I'm oh, sorry, uh, potatoes or rice. I can go chicken, limas, potatoes. Or chicken, limas, rice. So it can be chicken, peas, potatoes, Chicken, peas, rice, or chicken, limes, potatoes, and maybe I better not make it make it say pot, or chicken, limes, and rice. So with chicken is the main course, there's one, two, three, four, possible outcomes. Pizza can be peas, limas, if it's pizza peas, then it's pizza peas, potatoes, pizza lima, pizza peas, um, rice, pizza limas, potatoes, pizza limas, rice. And you kind of see the idea, I'm not going to take the time to summarize that bottom part of it, but there would be four combinations here so for a total of eight. And then the sample space would be where I list, it would be the chickens, peas, potatoes, chickens, peas, rice, chicken, limes, potatoes, chicken, limes, rice, pizza, peas, potatoes, pizza, peas, rice, pizza, limes, potatoes, pizza, limes, rice. And that's how we would list our sample space. So um, this is an important lesson, it's pretty short. And it's not that complicated, it's just the idea that you can multiply numbers together to, to get a count of how many different ways something can happen.